this can of peanuts for me? I'd like a peanut. Quarter Gas, weeknights at midnight Eastern on Superstation WGN. Today, the 25th day of December, unknown ages from the time when God created the heavens and the earth, and then formed man and woman in his own image. Several thousand years after the flood, when God made the rainbow shine forth as a sign of the covenant, Twenty-one centuries from the time of Abraham and Sarah. Thirteen centuries after Moses led the people of Israel out of Egypt. Eleven hundred years from the time of Ruth and the judges. One thousand years from the anointing of David as king. And in the sixty-fifth week, according to the prophecy of Daniel. In the 194th Olympiad, the 752nd year from the foundation of the city of Rome, the 42nd year of the reign of Octavian Augustus, the whole world being at peace, Jesus Christ, eternal God, and Son of the Eternal Father, desiring to sanctify the world by his most merciful coming, being conceived by the Holy Spirit, and nine months having passed since his conception, was born in Bethlehem of Judea of the Virgin Mary. Today, is the nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ according to the flesh. WGN Television presents the 2007 Christmas Midnight Mass live from Holy Name Cathedral in downtown Chicago. His Eminence Francis Cardinal George, Archbishop of Chicago, will be the principal celebrant. The con-celebrants will be Bishop Timothy Lyne and the pastor of Holy Name Cathedral, Father Daniel Mayall. Father Greg Sakowitz is your commentator. Father Claudio Diaz will provide the Spanish commentary on the second audio channel. The proclamation of Christmas was proclaimed by Deacon Michael McCluskey of Holy Name Cathedral. Good morning, and a very blessed and joyful Christmas to everyone. I'm Father Greg Sakowitz. This morning we celebrate the inbreaking of God into our world. It's no ordinary child whose birth we celebrate. We celebrate the birth of God's only Son, Jesus Christ, into our midst. 
The processional cross used tonight is 126 years old and was a gift to Archbishop Fian by the Polish Catholics in Chicago. Our deacons for this Midnight Mass celebration are Deacon Michael McCluskey, our Deacon of the Word, and Deacon Stan Strom, our Deacon of the Eucharist. And our concelebrants include Reverend Matthew Compton, Reverend Michael Novick, Reverend Michael Boland, Reverend William Moriarty, Reverend Dan Mayall, Pastor of Holy Name Cathedral, and Reverend Patrick Lagus, the very Reverend John Canary, Vicar General of the Archbishop of Chicago, and the most Reverend Timothy Line, retired auxiliary bishop of Chicago. This is Bishop Line's 42nd Midnight Mass at Holy Name Cathedral. And our principal celebrant is Cardinal Francis George, Archbishop of Chicago. Chicago's eighth Archbishop. Cardinal Francis George will be celebrating his 11th anniversary as Archbishop of Chicago this spring. And our Master of Ceremonies is Reverend Daniel Flens, who is secretary to Cardinal Francis George. And our service this morning are from St. Joseph College Seminary of Loyola University, the College Seminary to the Archdiocese of Chicago. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. As we begin this Mass of Christmas, we pray that the Lord, who is our Savior, will bring us the peace that comes from the forgiveness of our sins. We ask again for God's loving mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault. In my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, and I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Father, you make this holy night radiant with the splendor of Jesus Christ, our light. We welcome him as Lord, the true light of the world. Bring us to eternal joy in the kingdom of heaven, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We now begin the Liturgy of the Word, and our first reading will be proclaimed by Connie Farmer, a parishioner at Holy Name Cathedral. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing. As they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster you have smashed, as on the day of Midian. For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. The cantors for our Midnight Mass celebration are Catherine Gray Noon and Stephen Noon.
Our second reading will be proclaimed by Paul Farmer, again a parishioner at Holy Name Cathedral. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires, and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age, as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from lawlessness, and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good, the word of the Lord. The Holy Gospel will be proclaimed by Deacon Michael McCluskey. And the word gospel means good news. When we have good news to share, it cannot be kept from within. We share the word of God with those among us. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph, too, went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. 
Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone round about them and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Our homily will be delivered by Cardinal Francis George, Archbishop of Chicago. This is Cardinal George's 11th Midnight Mass celebration in Chicago since he was installed on May 7th, 1997. We also congratulate Cardinal George as the new President of the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. Dear friends, brothers and sisters in the Lord, together with the many who are connected to the cathedral by television this evening, we rejoice in the mystery of Christmas. We are content in a moment that brings hope. Thank you for your presence here. Thank you for your life of faith. This day, Nine months after Jesus was conceived in the womb of the Virgin Mary through the power of the Holy Spirit, we celebrate his birth among us, among shepherds and innkeepers, with animals and straw. Christmas makes us intensely aware of our flesh, our bodies. Our lives are marked by illness and fear of the death of our bodies, by weakness and the failure of our bodies, by comfort and gratitude for the joy of our bodies. Our lives are filled with words from our throats, works from our hands, the embrace of a loved one, the handshake of a friend. Jesus' birth means that God shares all this. God shares our very bodiliness. God joins to himself our human nature. The angels from on high in the gospel according to St. Luke just proclaimed, tell the shepherds that God has joined the human race. The gospel according to St. John tells us that the eternal word of God was made flesh but was then rejected by those whose flesh he shared. This rejection 